Hello friends, according to Thirukkanitha Panjang calculation, in the year 2023, Saturn will move from Capricorn to Aquarius on Tuesday 17th January at 8.2 pm. Those born under the sign of cancer have been going through a very difficult period in their lives and meeting with a dead end in all their efforts. Lord Shani, who has given many troubles in your life for the last 3 years, is now going to move to Aquarius, marking the beginning of Shani Daya phase for the next couple of years for you. Saturn, the Lord of the 8th house for your moon sign, will now be positioned in the same 8th house, resulting in a Vibhrita Raj Yoga. The Vibhrita Raj Yoga will bring in some unexpected pleasant surprises to your life in the next two and a half years. However, the Lord Shani will not leave Aquarius without doing some foul play that may put you in some distress too. The nature of Shani is that he will try to test you during the next couple of years of Shani Daya period. Similar to he generally gives trouble to those who have been into Sadasati phase. While Sadasati lasts about seven and a half years, the Lord Shani may force you to undergo the same amount of trouble in the next two years itself. Guru Bhagavan enriches the houses he caused his aspects. On the contrary, Lord Shani will give negative results wherever he caused his aspects. With, with this transit, Saturn will aspect the 3rd, 7th and 10th signs from Aquarius. Through this transit, Saturn will aspect your 10th house which is the house of business and profession. The 10th house for Cancer is Aries. Due to Saturn's aspect on the 10th house, some unexpected losses may occur in your business or work. Your business or work may be affected in various ways like financial loss, job loss, shifting to an unwanted place and resentment with co-workers. It is better not to make any new investment in the business for the next two and a half years and not to change the workplace or try to jump to another job. No matter how hard you work, you may not get the recognition you deserve. Mainly because Saturn will also cost its seventh aspect on the second house of your sign, Leo. As the second house governs speech, you should be very careful while communicating with others. For no reasons, your views may be misinterpreted and it may lead to some unwanted fuss. This is a time when your communication skill will be muted. So try to stay calm even in testing situations. For the next couple of years, no one around you would want to listen to you. It is better to remain silent most of the time. Try to remain a passive observer and never get into arguments with anyone around. Lord Shani gives you great importance to positive aspects like morality, cleanliness and justice. If you start punishing those who did not possess these disciplines, no divine power can stop it. At the same time, he will stand like a fort and protect those who follow them strictly. If you are disciplined in every aspect of life, the Lord of our karma, Shani Shani will give the fruits of our good deeds to many births to come and will protect our next generations too. In the next couple of years, you must take care of your finances. Don't overspend on anything. Avoid spending on unnecessary and extravagant things. Give importance to savings for meeting the financial needs to see you through the tough two and a half years period ahead. This is the time to handle the marital relationship with utmost caution. Your anger, ego and the indifference towards domestic relationship may lead to a permanent separation in some families. Start living with a mindset of forget and forgive for the next two years. Don't carry the grudges against your life partner to beyond an extent. Especially from May 2023 to May 2024, Guru's Kochara position will be adverse to your side. So you must try to remain calm and patient to avoid some serious issues in your marital relationship. It's a period to pause with complete silence and tolerance. For those who are in marriageable age, it is better to postpone the marriage till May 2024. If you get married during the acute Shani Daya period, your married life may suffer a bit later. So it is better to postpone your marriage for the next one and a half years to ensure that your married life lasts longer. Saturn's transit position may cause some health problems for you. Pay particular attention to health issues around your abdomen. When any health discomfort occurs, if it is taken care of in the early stages, unnecessary health and financial problem can be avoided in the later stage. It is better to avoid road travel mainly by two wheelers. Be very careful while traveling. Even a small distraction can lead to a major accident in the next couple of years. 
If you have young children born under the sign of cancer in your household, giving them vehicle is not a good idea right now. You may get some problem through your children in the next couple of years. For the next two years, it is better not to get involved in any new relationship and love affair. You can save yourself from many troubles if you deal with the opposite sex cautiously. Time does not always go on like this. All the sufferings given by Lord Shani are to make us to be mature. The lessons you will learn over the next two years will stand as valuable experience and protect you for the rest of your life. Our karma is the reason for the good and bad things that happen to us. We shall reap what we sow. So we must be patient in our difficult phase and refine ourselves through the bitter lesson that life teaches us. This is what Shani Shani expect from us. None of the planets are far away from us in the sky. They are all integral parts of our soul. They are all silently watching our actions from within us. When the time comes, they will give us the fruits of our actions, good or either good or bad. So by doing good deeds during our difficult times, the planetary aspects lying within us will give us the fruits of our action in good times to come. So wait patiently and have faith in God. The good time is not far away from you. If you would like consultation for your horoscope, you can contact me on my mobile number 9790892078. Thank you.